hi guys welcome back um, I have a few things to show you it's not much because uh, right now I'm very limited to where um, I can go picking uh, basically what happened is my car broke down and uh, my two choices are either replace the motor or just chuck it up and get a new car which is probably what I'm gonna do um, so right now basically I'm just picking the garage sales around my neighborhood and uh, one particular thrift store that um, the bus that picks me up pretty close by to my house it drops me off right in front of a thrift store and picks me up right there so um, basically those are the two areas that I'm pretty much limited to right now but um, still I managed to find a few things and I'm making it work until I can get a new car or not a new car, a used car but a new for me um, so anyway let me show you a few of the things that I have picked up and uh, it's this little video and then another one that I recorded, uh, another little segment that I'm going to tag on to the end of this one. So I found this cute little watch. Um, it probably needs a battery but it's one of those uh, Looney Tunes watches and this one is the one that actually talks. So that part works, uh, I think it needs the other battery um, for the cl uh, actual watch part to work and uh, I do want to replace the strap and I'll probably end up keeping this because I like it and it's so cute. Um, then I found these two little Madame Alexander dolls, they're the ones that were made from McDonald's and these two were in a bag of stuff that I picked up at a garage sale. The whole um, bag was a dollar and it was full of little toys and little things and these are the only two th that I, I bought it because of this so basically I don't know it, it ended up being that I paid pennies for this if you average out the dollar among all the stuff that was in there um, they're not probably not worth a lot of money but they were really cute so I'm just gonna give it a shot and see what happens uh, these shoes I picked up from the thrift store and uh, these came out to about four dollars and seventy some cents a piece these are Dansko these are clogs Mary Jane style with a little strap and these are probably about a size 8 women's but they're marked uh, the European size which is 38 <coughs> then I picked up this pair of uh, Clark's artisans and these are a size eight and a half women's from a garage sale, I picked up this UGG Australia purse. And I honestly can't remember how much I paid for this one because I bought it a while back, but I don't think it was more than $5. <clears throat> but it's practically brand new. Actually, I think it still has the tags inside. Um, this stuff is from the thrift store. And it's uh, this shirt by the Territory Ahead. That's a size L. Then I have this shirt that it's Kenneth Cole New York. It's not uh, Kenneth Cole Reaction or Reaction by Kenneth Cole. It's uh, the actual Kenneth Cole line. And uh, I really like the colors and the pattern on that. And it has the French cuffs. Then I picked up a couple of Tommy Bahama shirts. And um, one of the quickest ways to know if your uh, Tommy Bahama shirt is real or or fake is to look at the pockets and see if the pattern matches exactly with the pocket and uh, also when you button it up the pattern should match up exactly this particular one has the loop at the neck for this little button right here so when the uh, shirts have that small button in the loop, there will be two uh, replacement buttons sewn in. Um, a lot of the Tommy Bahama shirts also have another little tag. This one happens to have the palm tree and in the middle of the T and the B. And then I have this other Tommy Bahama shirt and a um, much softer color and a more subtle pattern. Um, 
This one does not have the palm tree between the two names, the Tommy and the Bahama. But you can see that the pattern matches up exactly with the pocket and when it's buttoned up, the pattern also matches. This one does not have the, lo the loop or the small button over here. This is a regular buttonhole and button closure. So this one only has uh, one button sewn in. And this one has the Marlin tag right there. And this dress I picked up at a garage sale. It's uh, Jones, New York, and it's, oops, I always have to drop something, don't I? Anyway, um, I think this was like $2, and it's just a really pretty tropical pattern. Also from the thrift store, I picked up this BCBG uh, Essentials dress for $4.54. And uh, it's just a really pretty floor pattern, very simple dress. This one is another BCBG Max Astria. This one was more expensive, it was seven fifty seven. Um and uh I really like the colors on this one and the pattern and it's a really nice jersey material so this one is nicer quality than the one I showed you before. <coughs> this one was three dollars and thirty three cents and it is a halter top dress. That you can't see very well, but um the uh, brand is uh, Laundry by Shelley Seagal. And it's a pretty dress. It's all silk. It's really pretty. When I put it on the mannequin, I'll take a better picture of it. And this is uh, also by Kenneth Cole. Uh, and this is also silk, and it's just a very simple shift dress. And that is it for my finds right now. Um, hopefully I'll be able to solve my uh, transportation problems pretty soon. Uh, if not, I'm going to be pretty limited to where I can go picking, but I can still make it work. Uh, because you can always make it work if you really want to. And um, so that's it for now, and uh, I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye. Today is uh, Friday and I decided to take a walk around um, my neighborhood and see what was going on as far as garage sales. And uh, there weren't that many going on, but I did find a few things and uh, let me show you what I picked up. I found this brand new pair of uh, Wrangler uh, men's uh, pants and these brand new with the tag I paid $3 for them. I picked up this Fossil Wallet, which is one of those brands that seems to follow me around everywhere. And this is the only item that I'm keeping. Um, it's in really nice shape. And uh, I paid a dollar for this. I also picked up two Blu-rays. They're both Disney. Uh, Fantasia 2000, and it includes the original Fantasia. And also this uh, Cars Blu-ray which includes uh, the Blu-ray and a DVD. And I also picked up these Crocs. They are the Wedge Slingback shoes. And those, I paid $3 for them.